A huge surprise in the automotive industry, Subaru CEO Sushi Osaka made a bombshell announcement at a recent event. The iconic Subaru Brat pickup truck is making a comeback, and this time it will have a jaw-dropping $15,000 price tag. You heard that right, $15,000 for a brand new pickup truck. This unexpected announcement has set the internet on fire, with classic Brat fans reminiscing about the good old days while others question if an 15 grand truck is even possible in 2024. Subaru is being very tight-lipped on details so far, but you know they have to be planning something ridiculously cool and disruptive to hit that shockingly low price point. Is the $15,000 Brat genius or insanity? Will it be able to compete against the loaded, high-tech trucks from Ford, Chevy, Ram, and others? And what sort of wacky surprises might Subaru have in store to rekindle that offbeat Brat magic? There's so much to unpack with this bombshell news, but one thing's for sure the Brat is back, and it's promising to shake up the pickup world like never before. Before we get started on today's video, I want to take a moment to ask for your support. Subscribing to my channel and ringing that notification bell is absolutely helped me to grow and keep putting out more amazing content for all of you. Your subscriptions and likes are what allow me to do this full time and keep improving with every upload. So if you're enjoying what you see so far, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and smash that like button too. And don't forget to drop a comment below to let me know what you thought of this one. Alright, now let's get into the video. The decision to revive the cult classic Subaru Brat, a model that captured hearts and minds in the late 1970s and early 1980s with its quirky design and unbeatable value, is a bold strategic gambit by Subaru. At a time when most automakers are fixated on producing larger, plusher, and pricier pickup trucks, Subaru is taking a contrarian stance by catering to a different segment of buyers who crave affordability, practicality, and a dash of nostalgia. The stunningly low $15,000 price point immediately positions Subaru's upcoming pickup as quite possibly the most budget-friendly option on the market. This pricing strategy harkens back to the Brat's roots when its unconventional design and unbeatable affordability made it a hit among adventurous drivers, outdoor enthusiasts, and urban dwellers alike. For the unacquainted, the Subaru Brat, an acronym for by drive Recreational All-Terrain Transporter, first burst onto the scene in the United States back in 1978. What truly set this quirky pickup apart from its contemporaries were the unique rear-facing jump seats nestled in the bed, a feature that captured the imagination of thrill-seekers and pragmatists in equal measure. As news of the Brat's resurrection spreads like wildfire, a slew of burning questions have arisen. How will Subaru's ultra-affordable offering fare against the established behemoths like Ford, Chevrolet, and Ram that currently dominate the massively lucrative pickup truck market? Will the Brat's retro charm and bargain basement pricing be enough to sway buyers away from the high-tech, high-capability trucks that have become the norm? Subaru's daring move comes at a pivotal juncture when consumer preferences are shifting. While the demand for larger, more luxurious, and feature-packed pickup trucks remains robust, an increasing number of buyers are seeking alternatives to these gas-guzzling beasts. Economic uncertainties, environmental concerns, and the realities of urban living have led many to gravitate towards smaller, more affordable, and efficient vehicles that can still deliver the versatility of a pickup. This emerging trend aligns perfectly with Subaru's strategy of reinvigorating the Brat as a compact, budget-conscious option. In recent years, automakers like Hyundai and Kia have demonstrated that there is indeed a viable market for affordable pickups, especially among younger demographics and those prioritizing practicality over sheer muscle. Models like the Hyundai Santa Cruz and Kia Ridgeline have found success by blending style, functionality, and attainability, making them appealing to daily drivers who can handle both city streets and light off-roading without breaking the bank. However, Subaru's entry into this arena is not without its challenges. The pickup truck segment is fiercely competitive, with stalwart nameplates like the Ford F-150, Chevrolet Silverado, and Ram 1500 virtually synonymous with rugged capability, cutting-edge technology, and premium comfort. Carving out a niche for the resurrected brat in this landscape will require deft marketing and a keen understanding of what modern buyers desire. Interestingly, Subaru's timing coincides with the automotive industry's accelerating shift towards electrification and sustainability. As consumers become increasingly eco-conscious, the demand for electric and hybrid vehicles continues to surge. While Subaru has remained tight-lipped about the Brat's powertrain specifications, the tantalizing possibility of a compact, affordable pickup with eco-friendly credentials could give the Japanese automaker a distinct competitive edge. The announcement of the $15,000 Subaru Brat has also ignited a passionate debate around the enduring power of nostalgia in the automotive realm. 
The resounding success of revived icons like the Ford Bronco and Chevrolet Blazer underscores the fact that nostalgia remains a potent force in swaying consumer choices. For the Brat, its distinct design elements, most notably those rear-facing jump seats, could prove to be a powerful nostalgic draw, enticing both returning fans and newcomers alike. However, Subaru will need to walk a tightrope, carefully balancing the preservation of the Brat's beloved idiosyncrasies with the integration of contemporary features and technologies that meet the expectations of modern drivers. Striking this delicate equilibrium between innovation and tradition will be crucial for the Brat to carve out its niche and forge an emotional connection with buyers in an increasingly crowded market where brand loyalty can make or break a model's success. As anticipation builds for Brat's imminent return, scrutiny will inevitably fall upon how Subaru's offering stacks up against its established rivals in terms of performance, capability, and overall value proposition. Industry pundits and armchair analysts have already begun dissecting the potential strengths and weaknesses of the $15,000 pickup, with debates raging over whether its bargain pricing will translate into compromises in areas like towing capacity, off-road prowess, and interior appointments. Advocates of the Brat's revival argued that its compact dimensions, urban-friendly footprint, and likely emphasis on fuel efficiency could give it a distinct advantage over the larger, thirstier trucks that dominate the segment. Detractors, however, contend that the Brat's budget pricing could come at the cost of cutting-edge safety features, advanced infotainment systems, and the robust engineering required for serious hauling and towing duties. Regardless of which side prevails in these heated discussions, one thing is clear. Subaru's decision to resurrect the Brat at such an aggressive price point is a bold gambit that could potentially disrupt the established order in the pickup truck market. The company's marketing strategy and its ability to effectively communicate Brat's unique value proposition will be pivotal in determining the success or failure of this audacious venture. Moreover, the Brat's return has reignited a broader conversation about the shifting dynamics within the automotive industry itself. As consumer preferences continue to evolve, favoring smaller, more affordable, and eco-friendly vehicles, manufacturers are being compelled to reevaluate their product portfolios and embrace fresh thinking. Subaru's move to reimagine the Brat for the modern era is emblematic of a larger trend, carmakers seeking to capitalize on the enduring allure of nostalgic designs while infusing them with contemporary sensibilities and technologies. This strategy has proven fruitful for brands like Volkswagen with the Beetle and Mini with the Cooper, both of which have enjoyed remarkable success by artfully blending retro aesthetics with cutting-edge engineering. For the Subaru Brat, the challenge will be to not only capture the imaginations of a new generation of drivers, but also to rekindle the fervor of its existing fan base. Those who still harbor fond memories of the original model's quirky charm and unbeatable value proposition. As the Brat's revival looms on the horizon, Subaru will undoubtedly face intense scrutiny not just from its direct competitors, but also from the legion of enthusiasts eager to see how the modern incarnation measures up to its beloved predecessor. Can the company successfully infuse the Brat with contemporary features and capabilities while preserving the essence that made the original so endearing? Only time will tell. Furthermore, Subaru's $15,000 pickup may find itself in an unexpected battleground, competing not only with traditional trucks, but also with the burgeoning market for compact and subcompact SUVs. These crossover vehicles, with their blend of off-road capability and urban-friendly dimensions, have become increasingly popular among buyers seeking versatility without the bulk and thirst of a full-size truck or SUV. To truly thrive, the Brat will need to carve out a distinct identity that sets it apart from both established truck nameplates and the upstart crossover crowd. As the anticipation builds and the debates rage on, one thing is certain, Subaru's decision to resurrect the iconic Brat at an eye-popping low price point has sent shockwaves through the automotive world. Whether this gambit pays off or falls flat remains to be seen, but one thing is undeniable, the daring move has already cemented the Brat's status as one of the most hotly anticipated and talked about vehicles of the year. So, what are your thoughts on Subaru's daring $15,000 pickup truck revival? Do you think the Brat's retro charm and bargain basement pricing will be enough to lure buyers away from established players and upstart crossovers alike? Or will the compromises inherent in such an aggressively affordable offering ultimately prove to be its undoing? Drop a comment below and share your predictions, because one thing is certain, when that first eye-catching brat rolls off the assembly line, the reverberations will be felt from Tokyo to Detroit to every dusty back road in between. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you all on the next one.